Welcome back to Texas, everyone. We are here with the fabulous Willie Waldrip once again. Cue the music. <laughs> Cue the music. And uh, we're just out here for the weekend. We have a bunch of uh, our new B Real Custom Arrows, which uh, we're going to see if Andrew's fletching job holds up to the case. They for sure will, though. <laughs> <laughs> they for sure will, though. Um, expectations for this trip is to have a fun time with the boys, and everyone's going to be doing a little bit of hunting. It's still whitetail yep. season, so we can shoot maybe some call bucks and maybe an axis. Bows on. We are going to start hunting in the morning, so we will see you guys in the morning. Good morning. We're sitting in a fantastic box blind because it's a little chilly outside. This time of year, it's it's February, and uh, these axis and whitetail are uh, they're just hitting feed super super hard. I mean, it's late season technically, and uh, you know, worn down after the rut. I guess axis deer, you, you never really know with them. There's some deer in velvet out here, um, but they're just hitting the feed hard. So we're sitting sitting in a box, sitting over a feeder, Texas style. Um, there's a couple good axes here coming in here. That's kind of our, our goal this morning is if good axis comes in to shoot one. White tails, it's uh, since this place is managed, they have special tags and uh, Willie gets special tags. So the season runs a little bit longer than the general season. So that's why we're out here still in February and we can help, uh, help take some of the numbers down hopefully. But our goal this morning is axis. So. We'll sit tight and uh, it just cracked daylight, so hopefully we see something. There we go. Dinner bell. There's a buck I hear, but still growing. Dude, look at all of them. midday now and we switch to water that's the awesome thing about axis hunting is you can kind of hunt all day you just kind of switch from hunting food in the morning to water in the midday and then food again in the afternoon so sit in a water hole and uh, it's like really still the wind needs to pick up um, to hopefully not get these deer super spooky but We'll sit tight for the next couple hours midday and hopefully something comes in. Very uneventful midday. Might have to work for it this weekend. That's okay. We need some of these blinds in Iowa. We're in tight in this blind. And if I get to full draw, my elbow hits if I get all the way, and then my stabilizer hits. 
that is why this is extremely nice. It still shoots fairly similar, similar enough, especially at this uh, close, you know, 20 yards or so. And I just like run it in and we are good to shoot again. Need the same weight, same everything. Now we're ground blind ready. These two bucks are still like just right there. Oh yeah, there's a good velvet one in there. Dang it. It's three bucks. I might be able to shoot it.
shine. They just go straight up. up. Yeah, they don't even come out. Yeah. Dang. <sighs> Man, I'm shook up. Yeah, he was running fast, like dying. I almost positive. I don't remember seeing that. <laughs> Consolation prize. They came out first over here. These axes, I mean, they're so smart. Like, even though we're in Texas and we're feeding, they are still incredibly smart. Hung up there for like 30 minutes, probably. Then they circled around, tried to get as much downwind as they can. Then they came in right by the blind here and we smoked them. Covered in blood. Straight pass through. Yeah, bubbles and I felt like a heart shot, but we'll see. Oh yes. Mm -hmm. Can work. He's cool. He's like he might be bigger than the one last year. Holy crap. I don't know. He's he big. big coddles? Yeah. And they Is go it, up. Yeah, yeah, up past his beams. Yeah. No way. They're like parallel Dude, next to it. We've tried to kill that deer forever. <laughs> really? Look at this. This is him, right? He's, a, he's like old. Yeah. Like his really body's old. huge. Huge. Like a Brahma bull. Like one side does it. Yeah, that's him. Ancient deer. That's him. Dude. <laughs> that's a brand's going to be so happy. Really? <laughs> he's trying to kill that thing. Yeah, I mean, I hit oh. him good. I didn't watch him fall, but he ran this way and there's good blood already. Did you have a bunch of deer? A dozen or so. Yeah. Two other, like, over 30 bucks, probably. Good. And then him. He came in before the other bucks, but they were right behind him. Awesome. Yeah, he was standing right, he was standing right, like, there. It's so tough to follow blood in this stuff. Yeah. 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 It's cold, you don't lose a bunch of blood straight from you. On the rock over here. Oh, yeah. oh, there he is. Oh, <laughs> tucked up right there. What? He's large. <laughs> oh my gosh, Chris. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> That's a cool. Look at that. Comes up past. Look how run down and nasty he looks. Dude, he's smelly. Bad smelly, yeah. That's awesome. He's got a giant tick on his velvet right there. That's awesome. Second axis buck down here with Willie. Doesn't disappoint. Try not to. <laughs> we did have a rough day yesterday, but this made up for it big time. More cool than anything. He's, he, that's the coolest deer. Yeah. You never see their coddles come past their main beams. Thanks, that's buddy. That's so awesome. This was, that, that was, was so fun awesome. morning. <laughs>